What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla spying video, the QQQ, and a couple of other tickers. I'm gonna break down what's happening in some markets so far after you have some big news that just came out involving Israel, and also some new news coming out involving the Cybertruck that's very important for Tesla. But let me first say that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Weeble link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit five hundred dollars, you're guaranteed twenty free stocks. If you deposit twenty five thousand dollars or more, you're guaranteed seventy five of them, and the offer ends in just eleven days. Anyways, for the market, as you can see, we're seeing a little bit of red right now, as we have some negative news that came out involving geopolitics and things like that, which I'll talk about in just a minute. Um, in terms of earnings, let me just make it clear: there's nothing too serious for today. Earnings become very serious next week as Tesla has its. Uh, for today, it's Friday, April 19th. We just have one Fed speaker at 10.30 a.m. Besides that, there's nothing else coming out. But the news that's making the headlines is this right here. Israel has launched a strike against Iran. And this is, once again, after Iran launched retaliatory attacks over the weekend. So it's been going back and forth and back and forth between them. Uh, Israel carried out this strike early on Friday, at least for our time, in retaliation for the barrage of missiles that happened. Uh, don't forget that Iran also launched a retaliation attack. So it's not just Israel that's doing this. It's going back and forth and back and forth. And this is very, very important. Now, Iran is not really disclosing the full extent of the damage as of right now. Uh, but the problem with this is, give this a little bit of time, Iran is going to be responding, in my opinion. Uh, this is what their officials were saying, their military is saying. They're saying that if Israel had done this, they're going to be uh, responding with lots of severity. This is very important news, and it's very, very sad, if anything, that this is going to likely continue to escalate, and there's no sign of this slowing down just yet. So this could be very, very negative for the markets. So you want to be very careful with this potentially happening, because over time, as these countries continue to launch strikes at each other, crude is going to start increasing in value. It's projected to break past 100 in the future. It hasn't started yet, but eventually it will if this keeps on continuing, and so far, there's no sign of it stopping. Okay, so that's very important news. As far as SPY goes, SPY has a lot of puts expiring for today. We have max pay at 500 with a 2.61 put to call ratio. Uh, I think it should be higher than that. If anything, we have over 3 million puts, 3 million short positions, and we have a lot of calls, only about uh, 1.1 million. But so far, I just want to make it very clear that uh, with all these puts expiring, uh, the market makers could be playing a lot of games today, the way the market moves. Are we going to see the market pump and then dump? Or is the market about to kind of like pump, dump, and then get bought back up at the end of the day? That's another possibility, so we'll just have to wait and see. As far as Tesla goes, Tesla's ordered to recall almost 4,000 Cybertrucks tr cyber over a faulty accelerator. And that's a, another pedal problem that's been raised on social media. After one driver found that the accelerator could become stuck to the floor, when a rubber cover came loose. That's a little bit negative for Tesla right over here. So they're recalling about 4,000 of its flagship Cybertrucks to fix the potentially dangerous fault with the accelerator pedals. Uh, this is also something that was called out from a report from the NHTSA. And this is very, very important. Uh, this is going to be for all of them, uh, which are going to be repaired. Uh, they were all the ones that were manufactured between November 13th and April 4th. So those are the ones that have to be recalled anything that was manufacturing during that time frame. This is a little bit more negative for Tesla. However, I just want to say that it, it's also very important to keep their trucks and vehicles as safe as possible. That's what Elon Musk said about this. So that's the reason why I think this is very important news. So what do I see on the charts? What do I see in the markets? Um, as you guys can tell, looking at Tesla right now, we're on the verge of completely filling this gap. I think we tried to fill this gap during the pre-market, but there is still a risk of downside looking at the trend. We're still bearish overall. Same thing on SPY on the daily. We're still quite bearish. And I think that there's a risk of us dipping even lower, especially as we try to continue to fill this gap. I also want to call out that for SPY, you look at the weekly charts, uh, you know, if we continue to fall, our weekly 20 EMA is currently at 494. Uh, we could dip all the way down there if we continue to fall and the trend remains bearish. If we lose 499, that's going to be my next target. And we'll see if we bounce or not off that. But I still think there could be a bit more downside after this whole situation. Things are still very, very tense involving Israel and uh, Iran. So anyways, going back to our specific levels on Tesla, I'm going to now call out the hourly time frame. Tesla currently has this resistance as 149, essentially. 
that's going to be our resistance to be watching for. And 150 above that, we have support all the way down here. Uh, first, we have some support at 147.5, 146.5, and then 145. If we lose that, you know, there could be a dip all the way down to about the 142 area. So I just wanted to call that out and let you guys know that that's uh, very important. Tesla still has this weak trend. For now, it is trying to rebound a little bit. We could see Tesla try to get very close to the 20 EMA, but notice that the last times we hit this green line, we rejected off of it. So that's going to be a tough resistance where this green line happens to be. So in this case, I think that if Tesla were to try to push a little higher, we're going to have some tough resistance just under 150. And we'll have to see if Tesla could break this or not. If we fail to break it, we could get a rejection. So the most likely possibility is Tesla kind of pushes a bit, then it kind of reacts, ends up getting a rejection and comes back down. Especially if the whole market comes down, so look for a little pop and drop, like move at least temporarily. And then towards the end of the day, we could see something change because of this options chain. Uh, but I'm going to wait for the end of the day, power hour, to discuss that. Tesla could push a little bit, but then look and see if we get a rejection off our 20 EMA, just under 150. And we could be coming right back down towards the mid 140s into these lower levels. That's a very, very strong possibility. Now, notice this trend on SPY. SPY is trying to push right now. This thing has a tendency of kind of pushing and dropping, pushing and dropping. It's trying to push again. Are we going to get one more little push into the very low 500s, like 501 or so? Could we push all the way up in here and then reject back down and start sinking back down lower to about 494? Is that what's about to happen to SPY? Or are we about to see this thing do the opposite and try to bounce? We'll, we'll be watching this very carefully. To be bullish, you want to break and hold above our 50 EMA on the hourly time frame, break above 502 and hold that. If we manage to achieve that, that could turn back to bullish, but so far I don't really count on that. I think SPY might push a little bit, get very close to 502, and then we could see a rejection move just like how we did yesterday. So that is the most likely possibility, but just to be safe, make sure you watch your levels. We could see SPY attempt to push a little higher before it makes its move right back down. And so make sure you watch support at these key levels. Watch 500 resistance, 502 above that support if it pops and drops uh this becomes support not to mention 497 if we lose 499 watch 497 496 then 490 uh, the entire 495 range just under that's 494 so this range right here i'll be very careful with spine i just want to let you guys know that there could be downside after what just happened with the whole israel situation so just be prepared for that just to be safe for the qqq we love to get rejected off our 20 ema and we're about to test this at 423.8 uh we could see this kind of pop a little bit more so it's 423.8 to 425 this range right here and we could be looking for a rejection back down towards 420 uh and if that fails us we could come even lower towards like 418 so just be careful on the qqq might pop and then drop a little bit and we'll see if we bounce at the end of the day or not but i do see a potential move for that Apple's also at resistance at 166. If we reject off here, we could be coming back down lower to 165 again. Retest that support. If that fails us, I'd be watching the support right here at around 164.5. So I see a risk of Apple potentially popping and dropping as well. So just be careful. NVIDIA is also known for kind of rejecting off its 50 EMA. So it might push towards 854, maybe a little bit higher, and then reject and come back down to the 830s then trade sideways so watch for that very carefully as of right now the market's on a downtrend we're still showing some weakness and just know that tesla could follow this trend so tesla might push a little bit when we open but watch resistance at the 20 ema and just know that there is a risk of it kind of popping and dropping because of what's happening with the overall global situation additionally i just want to call out a couple more tickers like coinbase coinbase is uh on this slight uptrend right here but watch this resistance as we try to push higher because uh, we have this channel, uh, and we'll have to see if it rejects here or not. So I'll be watching this range very, very carefully just to see if we kind of like push a little higher than come back down. I'm, I'll be watching that as well. For Amazon, it's the same thing essentially. Amazon could try to push a little bit towards 180 and see if we get a rejection on this channel because we have this downtrend that's still being respected. So it might push a little bit, and then we'll see if we get a rejection or not. We're approaching resistance soon. Meta also has this downtrend we're at resistance right now we could push a little bit higher towards the five tens again but if we reject to come back down this channel look for move all the way back down to 497 so watch to see if we get a rejection i'll be watching as well so that being said guys the market's in a critical place uh yes the market could push a little bit upon open 
So could Tesla, but just know that there is a risk of some downside because of the whole situation involving Israel and Iran. This could be a trap we could pop in and drop, and then we'll see what happens after that. With that being said, thank you all for listening. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys very soon in the next one. Thank you, and peace out.